A lot of you guys know that we sell patches. We've got our classic kind of supple obey style patch, uh, our run DMC supple patch, as well as different variations of our further patch. And the new new is our Harley Pace patch. Uh, you know, we sell these in our big cartel store. A lot of you have bought them. They totally help out the channel. I've also had a ton of requests on how to actually apply these to bags and garments. And uh, that's what I thought I would do today. Full on confession, I've actually never ironed on a patch before. So this is going to be new to me. And I actually emailed uh, Walter, the guy who makes our patches, he's based out of Pennsylvania, and asked him for his instructions. So I'm gonna follow his instructions and show you guys how to iron on a patch. The patch I'm going to iron on today is going to be our new, new party paste patch, which is awesome because it's this hot pink thread in the middle and this light blue thread out here actually glows in the dark. So that's right, party does not have to stop uh, when the sun goes down. So today I'm gonna be ironing it on this bag here. Uh, I've not reviewed this yet, but it's gonna be coming up soon. This is, I think the big John bag by our friend uh, Roland at Reload. And I've got this little itty bitty teeny tiny iron because we do live in a smallish place. No room for a full size iron. So this is what we got. One other thing you'll need is another piece of cloth. This is, this is what you would lay on top of what you're gonna iron on to kind of preheat the surface as well as on top of the actual patch that you're gonna be doing the ironing. In addition, uh, Laura just handed me this towel so I can protect this table here and I don't burn it to a crisp. Again, first time doing this. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna learn together. So I've got my protective towel here and the bag. And I think it's gonna look best if I just kind of do it centered maybe slightly at an angle such as this. The next thing I'm gonna do is take my protective uh, cloth here. Um, all instructions suggest to have the iron on it on high. So what I'm gonna do here is actually give it just a little spritz of water. Cause as they say, if you don't kind of dampen it a little bit, you're not ironing, you're burning. So uh, with that, whoa, with that said, just kind of gently heating up the surface. So this bag is a Cordura, I don't believe it has a plastic lining. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of steaming here. So definitely want to kind of not overdo it uh, in the event that it melts, which I'm definitely trying to avoid. I've got the surface kind of pre-warmed up, taking the patch and put it at a rakish angle here, placing the, this protective cloth again once over it and now applying pressure One nice thing is that this is a fairly small patch. So if, if you have a small iron, uh, it should work. I believe Walter said to apply heat for about 30 to 45 seconds. So I am kind of timing it, making sure the edges are nicely ironed. Trickiest part because you definitely don't want those peeling up. There's one kind of really stubborn edge here, the bottom of the P. So just applying some more pressure and some heat. It's looking good guys, looking good. So Walter suggests applying pressure and heat for 45 seconds, then letting it cool for 15 seconds and then applying another 15 seconds there. So let's let it rest. Fingers crossed. I hope I, the bag is not melted. I've not had a chance to check it yet. Okay, 15 seconds. So another 15 seconds of heat and pressure, really working the corners. Don't want those parts to, to flap up. So I believe um, for best results, you don't want to futz with this for at least 24 hours to let the adhesive really set, but it looks like it's on the bag. Yeah, looking good. So the bag has not melted and that's always a good sign. So there you go. That's how you iron on one of our patches to, uh, if you've got a bag or a hat or anything, uh, those are kind of the basic steps. So you want to have a clean and dry surface, uh, preheat the surface, but definitely use a handkerchief, pillowcase or something to uh, not burn the surface, especially if it's synthetic. Lay the patch on top, put your protective uh, cloth over it again, and then apply 
45 seconds of heat, uh, making sure to really work the edges. Let it rest for 15 seconds and then another 15 seconds and there you go. So hopefully that was helpful. If you've purchased a patch and have been wondering if these are iron-on, uh, yes, they're supposed to be all iron-on patches and it's relatively simple. I feel like I did a pretty good job even though this is my first time ever ironing on a patch. Uh, even with a little tiny iron, you too can do it. So, so if you want a party paste patch, be sure to check our web store as well as our further patches and our supple patches. We still have tons of these and every little bit helps the channel. And, uh, and speaking of fun things in our web store that are coming soon, uh, we've just got a bunch of these hats, which I will be ironing uh, these party paste patches onto now that I know that it works. Yay! <laughs> so be sure to check out the link in the description below. And as always, keep the supple side down.